Hello everyone, welcome to the second part or part two of map references or what we call map indexes. Okay, so in order to follow through this video, ensure that you have watched part one of this video or of this topic, and I've put a link on the description below. Okay, right. So in today's video, I'll be using this report map which is a 1 is to 50,000 topographic map of Photoport, Mahauteng. And as you see over there, here's the map code, which is 2627BB. Okay. So remember in this video, I'll be looking at what happens when your direction jumps the degree of the grid that you are working in. Okay, so remember the first step is to try and locate this um, map code in a grid. So the first thing you need to do is try to locate um, your map code in a grid. All right. So I'm just gonna draw a rough sketch of my grid right here. Remember, I did say in the last video that. This does you don't need to use a ruler for this. You can just quickly draw to save time in an exam. Okay, so I'm gonna use different pens there. So this will be A, B, C, D, and then you sub you further subdivide your blocks into different um, small blocks. Okay, also gonna use a different pen there. So A will be A A A B A C A D small blocks A B C D A B C D A B C D perfect okay so we know that um, the first two numbers there will be your latitude so 26 over there and then the last two will be um, 27 which is your your longitude right um, the first letter there is your big block which is B over here and then the last block will be or the last letter will be your small block which uh, leads us lead us to this block over here so this will be our re reference block okay so remember in this video i'm focusing on what happens when your direction jumps off um into another degree okay so let's let's try to do that for the purpose of this video we'll be focusing on northeast finding the map index of northeast and also that of east okay so we have located our index uh, or our reference block over here the next thing you need to do is just point at these directions so when we go back to our when you go back to our compass we know that over here was north and east south so we do that and west in here so over there we'll have our north east and then there's east over there so what you need to do you can just uh, indicate them here on your block quickly as a guidance okay so when you get to this point, you know that um, you need to expand your grid because 26, 27 is only within this block. But now your arrows are now pointing into another uh, grid. Okay, so what you need to do, you can just extend your grid over here. And this needs to be as quick as possible. Like you can do this. To save time remember it's a free hand right so over here will be my a my b my c my d 
and then my a a my b c uh, d already i can see that this block for east is pointing into a a right big block a small block a but for the purpose of this video i'll just do everything b c d a b c d okay also this arrow over here which is northeast forces us to extend what to extend our block as well so when we do that we can just quickly draw a rough sketch of another block over here so this will be a b c and d further subdivide into small blocks so this will be a b c d a b c d a b c d a b c d D. All right, now let's solve. What you need to note is that once you your arrow uh, jumps this coordinate over here or the degree over here, you are going into another degree. So what changes will be your um, your latitude or your longitude? But in this case, in this instance, your latitude will change, right? So as you know. Or as you use your maps topographic maps and, and both auto photo maps um, once you move up towards the equator um, your latitude will, in this instance over here to be to be 25 right and then remember this uh, this longitude extends to there so your latitude will change and also your your longitude will change meaning when you go to the right uh according to your latitude uh you increase the numbers okay so this will be 28 over here and then moving upwards according to the latitude you're moving or you subtracting because you're moving towards the equator remember at the equator we have a zero degree right so when you are in the north southern hemisphere and you move towards the equator you are decreasing your your degrees of latitude i hope that is clear and also well when you move towards the right or when you move away from the greenwich meridian in the north uh, in the southern hemisphere you are increasing your your degrees okay so this will be 27 this will be 28 over here so in solving this um this um problem which is uh, map index for the northeast would be so remember this is our reference block over here which is 27 i mean 26 27 bb which is right here so this arrow is pointing this block over here okay so what changes now is what is the the latitude so now this latitude or 25 28 represents this new grid over here that we are now getting our new map index okay so when you write the map index for this answer or for northeast from this reference block, uh, you're no longer focusing on this two, which is 26 and 27. You are now focusing on 25 and 28 because we have moved upwards and towards the right. Okay, so the, your new reference block or reference index will be um, 25. 28 and then the big block is C the small block is C let's look at the east 
So for east, you can see that we only have jumped um, a longitude, but we are still working within the same latitude, which is 26. So I'll write 26 as east because we are working within or under this latitude over here. But now my longitude has changed. So it has changed to what? To 28 because firstly it was 20, 27, right? So right there is 20, 28. So my map index will be 26, 28. And this arrow from the reference block is pointing towards this small block. But what is the big block? The big block is, is A. So my reference number will be 26, 28, big block A and small block A. I hope this makes sense, everyone. I hope you've learned something from this for your exams. And let me know in the comment section what you need clarity on and we can work on that. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.